from my kitchen window, uh, I, I think I saw the end of the shooting because it took place in a very uh, narrow and, and small street uh, that, um, that leads to the boulevard on which uh, I live. And uh, so I think I, I saw the end of the shooting uh, and I heard, uh, we heard something like 20, between 20 and 13 shots. And, uh, and we saw people running. Um, it, it happened, it, I think it was uh, people who were just walking in the street. And, uh, and then we saw uh, police cars um, arriving very fast uh, because uh, the first uh, police uh, cars and uh, policemen I saw arrived uh, on the ground uh, while the shooting was still, was still happening. So uh, it was very, um, I mean, it was very uh, fast. The shooting went on for, I think, a couple of minutes. Uh, and uh, the police, the, the first policeman who arrived um, tried to um, run after someone I didn't see or a car I didn't see because it was uh, on, the, on on the upper end of the boulevard. And, uh, and uh, unfortunately, uh, the first policemen to arrive on the ground were not um, as well protected as the other teams that were sent. And uh, I saw uh, one policeman who was uh, shot uh, in front of our building and um, two, other, two other policemen were um, wounded. Uh, apparently, the, the two wounded were very lightly wounded, but uh, the one who was shot was uh, lying on the ground for a long time before an ambulance could... Uh, could you know, make uh, its way through um, the uh, traffic. We had a shooting a year and a half ago, and uh, and a young photographer uh, was heavily wounded. And uh, so we know, uh, unfortunately, we know what what it means to be a to be the target of uh, of a terrorist attack. But uh, I am, I, I I can't even find words to describe uh, 11 people dead in a newspaper because they are because the journalists uh, were fighting for the uh, for the uh, freedom of speech